Do you know how many sensors are in your smartphone currently collecting your data? Many people will quickly and rightfully call out the camera sensor and the microphone sensor. And then some more will also know about the accelerometer sensor and even the gyroscope sensor. But some phones today also have a sensor to detect the magnetic field, a sensor to detect pressure, a proximity sensor, a step counter, and many others. Each of these can be used to help certain features work properly, but they can also be used to collect your user data. And today, I want to show you an interesting feature hidden within Android that can actually let you disable and re-enable every sensor on your phone with a single tap. Before I can get into showing you where this feature is hidden, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. Specifically, you're going to need to have developer mode enabled. Enabling this feature will allow you to gain access to a hidden menu within the settings application called developer options. And you can activate developer mode by tapping on the build number entry within the about phone section around seven to 10 times. I also have a dedicated video about this on the channel. So I'll be sure to link to that guide down below for anyone who needs help enabling or finding this new menu. Once developer mode has been enabled, you'll want to find that newly revealed developer options menu. Sometimes you'll find this within the system menu of the settings app, but some other OEMs have tucked it away behind different menus. Be sure to let me know in the comments section down below if you've had difficulty finding this menu. Once you have found it though, Tap in and then begin scrolling down a little bit. You shouldn't need to scroll down too far before you find an option labeled Quick Settings Developer Tiles. Let's go ahead and tap on that text. And you're going to find a list of Quick Settings tiles that are all going to be disabled by default. Every single one of them will be disabled but tapping on a toggle next to one will actually allow you to use that tile in the quick settings panel. Most of these are probably not going to be useful to you, but you can see they're very easy to enable and disable. So look for the tile labeled sensors off and then enable it by tapping on that toggle. Then we're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen twice to reveal our quick settings panel. And you'll notice that I have the sensors off tile right here, but you may need to edit the quick settings panel and manually move that into place. And just like before, please use the comment section down below to let me know if you ran into any issues moving the sensors off tile into an active spot. Now, just like before, this tile will be disabled by default, and that means your sensors will be active. Sensor data is going to be collected, and we can see that right here. We can see all of this data is actually being collected because those sensors are active. However, if we go in, we tap that tile so that the tile is now active, and now we check those sensors again, you can see none of them are actually showing any data. We can even try to launch the camera application and you will not see anything in the viewfinder. 
because that sensor is disabled and turned off. And the same thing for your microphone and all the other sensors inside your phone. This little Android tip is not going to be for everyone to enable on every single device they own, but it can be helpful in certain situations. For example, I like to keep a tablet on my nightstand for playing TV shows while I fall asleep. So there's absolutely no need for Android to have access to its camera sensors or the microphone sensors or any of the other ones I literally only use it to watch sitcoms like The Office and Always Sunny. And this sensors off tile actually gives me peace of mind knowing that there's not any data being collected by those sensors. Even if some malware got installed on that device, as long as that sensors off tile stays active, then that malware will not be able to listen in on the microphone. And they can't activate the camera either through Android's traditional API calls. If this tip is something that you didn't know Android was hiding, then be sure to click on that like button down below this video. YouTube is also experimenting with a new hype button too. So tap on that as well, please. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're at it for more Android tips like this.